Okay, so here we are at Smith's Toys in Harlow. Going to be having a look inside there, and then I'll be popping down to B&M, just over there, to have another look. Let's see what they've got inside. Hope, hopefully there'll be something new and interesting. Okay, so here we are in the Hot Wheels section. I um, did notice I've got some new stuff in. They've got a new Fast and Furious set of these sort of individual cars. Um, got quite a few of them. So, let's have a look through. There's ten in a set. So, um, I wonder if we we'll get a whole set. Let's have a look. So, number ten is the uh, Dodge Charger Hellcat. That's a cool one. In black, very very nice. Uh, we've got the uh, the Sylvia. That's really good. I don't have that one in any any way, shape, or form. So that's definitely going to come with me. Actually, I do have a, a premium of it, but I don't have the Fast and Furious one. Very nice. Uh, we've got the. That's beautiful. That is the uh, so Challenger Hemi Challenger Dodge Hemi Challenger. Very nice. It's another Hemi Challenger. Uh, there's a, a Jeep. It's a Jeep. What is that? Gladiator. Nice. Uh, what's this one? Uh, another Challenger. Another Jeep. And uh, what's that over the Oh, the. Um, What's that one? Oh dear. Need to get, it, get them all out to get to it. So this one is the... Uh, that's the Ice Charger, isn't it? Fast and Furious Ice Charger. Well, cool. So let's put them all back. Right, so uh, on with this, it's another Sylvia. There's the Torino. The green Torino. There's, oh wow, that's fantastic. That is the beautiful, gorgeous, the black Supra. That is definitely a must have. That's gonna be very, very popular with collectors. Really nice. Black Supra. Well cool. So yeah, I'll grab that one. Another ice charger. Uh, that's another Supra, is it? Oh no, it's a Hellcat. <laughs> Another ice charger down the back there. Oh, that's the one we haven't seen. That's the Fast and Furious charger. Very nice. This cake car. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Excuse me, you haven't seen like a long box of all the Mario Hot Wheels like um, set along here. Well, those like, are the. They're supposed to be three in stock. Right. Well, the, these are the Hot Wheels the individual. Um, individual. Yeah. Oh, I've seen like a box set. But you there mean. was a box set with about six oh, right. in, and the lady said there's three in stock, and they're here. But I can't see. Because we've bought no. one box. Uh, okay. Did, and maybe try down that way a little bit? Yeah. yeah. No, sorry, I can't. Uh, I haven't seen them. No, thank no, you. No, I've, I've never seen them, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll go back and see the lady. All right. Let's just see who they've got here, because you might get them separately if not. Has he got Peach Cat? So, keep looking through these. I think we've seen. Oh, there's one we haven't seen. Oh, 
Right, let's go and see the lady and just say... Oh, sorry, it's just a challenger again. Two more challengers. So, we've got this one. That's cool, that's the, uh, that's the Mitsubishi uh, Eclipse. That's very nice. Very cool. Uh, another challenger. Another Torino, another Supra, wow. <laughs> uh, we've got the Ice Charger again, the Eclipse again, the Eclipse again, the, uh, that's the, what's that, got the other Ice Charger I think, Ice Charger, Supra, yeah, so I don't think we've got the whole ten. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So there's a couple missing. What is she, what is in this set? Let's have a look. Now we're missing the escort, unsurprisingly. And another one. What else are we missing? Uh, can't tell. No, those are the ten. Anyway, and we managed to find. Uh, let's have a look, let's run through them. So we managed to find the Eclipse, yeah, the, individual the Charger, yeah. the Supra, the Jeep, the Torino, the, the Char Challenger, yeah. the Sylvia, and the Charger. So yeah, very nice. So, I finally relented. I'm going to get the mother's little helper from the drag strip demon set. Um, they've only got that and the um, the uh, the ram chargers car still there. And I think I've got the Plymouth Duster over the back there, which I've already got. But I don't have the ram charger. Oh, sorry, the um, I don't have the mother's little helper. So I'm going to get that. So that's me done. Spent too much money. <laughs> Okay, here we are on B&M next door. So plenty of Hot Wheels, uh, nothing very interesting I have to say. I look through, um, it's all old stuff. Batmobile again, always the same. Uh, yeah, plenty of Hot Wheels but nothing new. Um, they do have some of these in the uh, 53rd anniversary cars. Talladega there. Uh, it's a Camaro. There's a. Uh, there's plenty of Camaros. What else is there? There's the, the Challenger. Dodge Hemi Challenger. All with this 53 on the side. They're all the same colour. They're all this kind of metallic, bronzy orange with a number 53 on the side. 53rd anniversary. Uh, what else is there? It's not a full set. Uh, oh, there's this one, which is a what's this one? Uh, Project Speeder. So I think that's it for. Yep, that's the lot for the um, for here. So there's a Project Speeder. There's a Challenger, there's a Camaro, and there's a Talladega. So yeah, kind of interesting, bit old hat, two years old now. Um, yeah, not really for me. So I shall, oops, I shall uh, leave it there in b &M. In the end, I only picked up two of these models yesterday, um, but let's take a closer look. Uh, first of all, let's start off with the, the Supra which is, uh, to my mind, is the nicest of the set. It's uh, very, very cool indeed. Um, since uh, Hot Wheels got the Toyota license back, they have been putting out a lot more of their models. Um, this is really nice. I've not seen uh, a black version of the Fast and Furious uh, Supra before. Obviously, we're all familiar with the orange one with the uh, Tampo printing on the side. But um, this one, the black one, is, is so cool. Really, really nice. It's got a full tempo printing, 
Got the grill there on the front, the headlights, the Toyota badge, uh, side indicator there. And at the back we have the, the lights. Let's just get a bit closer on that. If we can just see if the camera will focus up nicely, which it does. Yeah, we have the uh, the badge work and the lights at the back, which is um, absolutely beautiful. Uh, and as I say, in black, this car really pops. Looks fantastic, so cool. And with the black alloys as well, really sets it off. Yeah, very nice model. Bound to be very popular with the uh, with collectors. I was lucky they had um, they had some in stock yesterday. Somebody had already been there. Um, I, I imagine they hadn't been put out in the pegs very long, those Fast and Furious cars. Um, somebody had come along and taken all the Escorts, so obviously a Ford fan. Um, so that was the only one that was missing from the set. There was uh, nine there. I think I was miscounting in the shop. I put one back on the peg or something. But um, there was nine there, um, and only one was missing, the, the Escort. So let's have a look again at the set. So we have at the top there, we have the Mitsubishi Eclipse. And then uh, to the right, I'll go uh, left, right, left, right. So to the right of that, we have the uh, Hemi Challenger. Then we have the Nissan Silvia, the Full Torino, the Supra, the Escort, the uh, 70 Dodge Charger in some sort of uh, desert get-up, uh, the Ice Charger, the Jeep Gladiator, and the uh, 90, oh, sorry, 2020 Dodge Charger. So, cool set. And once again, there, there is the, uh, the Supra. I also picked up the Sylvia. Um, I don't have this uh, version of it. I have a, uh, a mainline version, sorry, uh, a premium version, I should say, in some sort of like metallic brown. But I haven't got this um, blue and orange Fast and Furious version. So, nice to get hold of that. And again, these models, they, they really have gone to town with them. They've done uh, a really good job with the tampo printing. Got some headlights there and the badge on the front. And on the back, we have, uh, we have the Sylvia uh, name there, the uh, Nissan logo and the rear lights. Looking really cool. Um, yeah, they've sort of pitched these um, models somewhere between premium and mainline, really. They're, they're nicer than, definitely nicer than the mainlines. Um, and but they have the plastic bases and the, and the standard wheels, so they can't really be classed as premiums. But they're sort of halfway between. Um, I believe they have released a set of ten of these Fast and Furious models. Um, not the ten we have in this set. There's a, there's a box set with uh, all ten, or rather ten models in it. Um, I believe it's got a Porsche. The, the blue Porsche is in that set. So um, most of the same, I think. But um, there's a blue Porsche in there, which is not in this set. But yeah, nice to find these in the shops. Very cool. As I say, I think the, the JDM ones will be very popular. Very nice. So I did, in the end, pick up the Mother's Little Helper and the Drag Strip Demon set. The 1964 Chevy Nova Gasser wagon. I had been humming and harring about this for some time now. Um, I, I picked up the rest of the set and uh, seeing as I've managed to pick up a complete set of the Autostrasse and the Ronin Run cars it seemed a bit churlish not to pick up the last one of the uh, drag strip Demon set and complete that one so now I've got uh, complete sets from the last three sets that Hot Wheels have released in premium so um, that's really nice but once again fantastic artwork really cool and the model's nice um, yeah, what can we say about it? Mother's Little Helper, famous Rolling Stones track. That's all to the good. Uh, some detailing on the front and the rear. Uh, nice alloys on this one. They look very cool, those, uh, those chromed alloys. But yeah, nice model. I've been looking at it on and off. Every time I go into Smith's Toys, I have a, I have a look at it and wonder whether I should buy it. And in the end, I thought, well... You know, these models, they're not around forever. Um, you can get them now, but perhaps in a few months' time they'll all be gone and um, you've got to end up looking on eBay then, so I might as well get it and done. So, yeah, that's a cool one. Mother's little help there. Very nice. So that gives us a little chance to have another quick look at the rest of the drag strip demons. So we have the uh, number one of five, the, the Dodge Coronet Ram Chargers car. 
Um, this is actually a real car. I've seen uh, YouTube footage of it racing in the in the mid sixties, uh, and the Ram Chargers team from Detroit, they were renowned for having the best engine, so their cars were invariably the fastest. So yeah, that's the Ram Chargers Dodge Coronet. We've got the Slug Bug, number two. It's a cool one. This one, this one's been very popular. Uh, obviously, the V-Dub collectors have been after it, and um, I haven't seen many hanging around on the pegs, to be honest. So yeah, the Slug Bug, that's a nice one. That's very nice. We have the Dodge, uh, sorry, the Plymouth Duster, a seventy-two. Was it seventy-three? Seventy-three, Plymouth Duster there. The uh, the last stand it's called. Very nice, very seventies decor there. So that's the last stand, and finally, I was lucky enough to find the chase for this set. So we have the chase of the rust bucket, the old uh, nineteen. 33 is it 30 yeah 33 uh, Willis uh, pickup truck in black normally this one will be in a sort of beige color but um i i got the black one which is the chase it's very nice actually looks very nice in this black looks better than the beige i think There's plenty of detailing of uh, sort of rust rusted bullet holes on the side there very cool and um, normally this will be five of five, but as it's a, as it's a chase model, it's a zero of five. So yeah, there we go. That's the that's the drag strip demons. So hope you enjoyed the video, and um, I hope to catch you soon in the next one.